from Swiss Watch Expo. Spotlight on Rolex and Tudor watches. What's the difference between the sibling brands? Watch enthusiasts and newbies alike would know that Tudor is Rolex's sister company. The brand has been making waves since their revamp in 2010, releasing hits such as the Tudor Black Bay and Pelagos. While Tudor was generally known as Rolex's more affordable younger sibling, the brand has quickly come into its own. This reignited the persistent question about the two brands, if the same company owns Rolex and Tudor, what is the difference between their watches? We'll give you three main differences between the two outstanding watch brands. So stay tuned. Rolex's founder, Hans Wilsdorf, created Tudor in 1926, just six years after he established Rolex. His intent was to create a viable, but more affordable alternative to the powerhouse brand of his watchmaking empire. Wilsdorf was bent on making Tudor succeed, so he bestowed two very important elements of the Rolex brand to Tudor. The oyster case, and the self-winding rotor movement. The brand then created more accessible versions of Rolex's watches, such as the Tudor Submariner, released just one year after the Rolex Submariner was launched, as well as the Oyster and Prince lines. Today, Tudor is no longer seen as Rolex's second fiddle, and its watches are seen as good options to their parent companies. Let's dissect the elements that make the two brands different. Let's start with their construction. Rolex is known for using only the finest materials, and for even manufacturing their own metals. Since 2005, Rolex has been creating the gold, platinum, and stainless steel metals used for their watches in their own foundry. In fact, all the 18K gold they use in their watches, are proprietary. Especially mixed by the company to ensure maximum luxury, and durability. Meanwhile, most other watch brands use standard 316 stainless steel metals for their watches, or source their metals from third parties. Such is the case with Tudor, and this is one of the factors that determine their price range. However, the build quality, engineering, and technical prowess used for Tudor watches are still identical to that of Rolex watches so you'll still get a timepiece that's accurate, and robust. While many Tudor watches resemble Rolex models, Tudor is more adventurous when it comes to design. Rolex has timeless, but instantly recognizable designs. From the classic Rolex State Just, to the ruggedly elegant Daytona. The current lineup of Rolex watches, have designs that have been around since the 1950s, and have changed very little. As they say, Rolex watches only make way for technical advancements, and their timeless designs only go through evolutions, rather than revolution. Tudor, meanwhile, has been the company's avenue for experimentation, and this makes their watch designs markedly different from Rolex. While some models like the Tudor Submariner are overtly inspired by their Rolex counterpart, Tudor watches have been more adventurous. Using materials like titanium, cloth watch straps, as well as busier designs that are not found in Rolex watches. Until recently, the main difference between Rolex and Tudor, was their movements or calibers. Rolex has been using in-house movements since 2004, when they purchased outright the manufacturing facility, that makes their calibers. Tudor, meanwhile, ran on movements created by renowned Swiss manufacturer, ETASA, or Valju. This distinguishing factor all changed when, in 2015, Tudor launched their first ever, in-house movement. 
It first appeared in their North Flag line, but the caliber has been applied to the rest of their portfolio. Recent Tudor models now run on in-house, Tudor movements. With Tudor now carving its own identity in the watch world, getting one no longer means settling for a more affordable Rolex. If you want a reliable luxury watch with unmatched legacy, go for a Rolex. If you're after a robust watch with a more adventurous design, then Tudor is your best bet. At the end of the day, there is no definitive answer. Only that Rolex and Tudor, sure make the best watches, in their respective price ranges. Want to learn more about Rolex and Tudor? Click on the upper right screen, for our watch guides playlist. Don't miss out. We launch two videos weekly, on the best and the latest in watches. To get updates, subscribe to our YouTube channel.